Cindy Bruna looked sensational as she stepped out on the last day of the 74th annual Cannes Film Festival on Saturday. The fashion model, 26, wore a quirky black suit with nails on paired with a busty white bralette which showed off her flat midriff. The French beauty carried her belongings in a brown patterned bag with a tan leather handle. She looked every inch the natural beauty with her brunette locks in tight curls, swept into a side parting. Cindy shaded from the French sun by framing her face with black cat eye lensed sunglasses. She kept her accessories paired back with two simple chain necklaces and stunning rings. Elsewhere at the film festival that day, Caleb Landry Jones was very much the leading man on Saturday as he cut a striking figure while attending the Nitrum photo call. The American actor, 31, stood out in a red and white pinstripe suit as he posed alongside the film's director and producer. Caleb teamed his eye-catching blazer and trousers combo with a black shirt, white waistcoat and black shoes. He appeared in good spirits as he posed on the blue carpet and waved to crowds at the event. The star posed alongside the film's director Justin Kurzel for several photos. While Caleb was also pictured with screenwriter Sean Grant and producer Nick Batsias at the event. The film Nitrum is centered on the life of Port Arthur mass murderer Martin Bryant, with the title being Martin's name spelled backwards. Caleb plays the role of the lone gunman responsible for Australia's worst massacre on April 28, 1996, which took the lives of 35 innocent adults and children. Due to the sensitive subject nature of the movie, producers chose to film in Victoria instead of Tasmania where the tragedy occurred, the Sydney Morning Herald reported at the time of production in November. The film will not depict the killings, but will instead focus on Bryant's life before his murderous rampage in an attempt to understand how the atrocity occurred. The publication also reported that the film will not name Byron, and will also assign fictional names to other key characters. Australian stars Judy Davis, 66, and Anthony LaPaglia, 62, took on the role of Bryant's parents. Actress Essie Davis, 51, portrayed Tattersall's lottery heiress Helen Harvey, who was a companion of Martin's. The Port Arthur massacre is known as one of Australia's darkest days. Bryant's rampage started when he drove to the Seascape guest house in Tasmania, where he murdered owners David and Sally Martin with a military-style semi-automatic rifle. He then headed to the Port Arthur historic site where he had lunch before opening fire on guests in the Broad Arrow Cafe, gift shop and car park. His trail of destruction took the lives of 35 adults and children, injuring another 23, and prompted historic gun control legislation under the John Howard government. Bryant pleaded guilty to 72 charges including murder, attempted murder, causing grievous bodily harm and arson. On November 22, 1996, more than seven months after the massacre, Tasmanian Supreme Court Chief Justice William Cox ordered Bryant serve 35 life sentences without parole. Bryant has never offered an explanation for his actions. Still, there is speculation, including from investigators, that his murders were sparked out of retribution for grievances and others were collateral damage. He will die at Hobart's Risdon Prison, 